Well, this is an interesting case of a patient in CHF, and we can see one of the dynamic aspects of a backup in pressure of the venous system which drains normally into the right atrium. And that, of course, is the inferior vena cava and superior vena cava. So here we have a big heart. Uh, looks like we have some pericardial fluid and let's see how the lungs look here pretty clear pretty clear so this is more of a right heart failure and you can get left or right or both but when you get right heart failure that's when you get the edema in the lower extremities the pitting edema for example and this being the right atrium, this the left, right ventricle, left ventricle. So what drains into the right atrium? Well, in the superior mediastinum, it's the superior vena cava, which is coming from above here. You see it very densely enhancing and then follow it downward. And it comes into the right atrium. You can tell this is the left atrium because it has veins coming from the lungs. Now, if you follow the right atrium down farther, you will encounter the inferior vena cava, which is this structure right here. If you go down lower and see the liver, you'll see that there are hepatic veins, typically three prominent hepatic veins, one, two, three, that converge on the inferior vena cava and that in turn provides flow superiorly into the right atrium but if there's right heart failure along with the peripheral extremity edema that you see you can get a backup of fluid into the liver itself and that's why you have this heterogeneous appearance in this liver and you have low attenuation areas here scattered between the areas that are enhancing more normally. And the liver looks a little big. So that is one sign of right heart failure. And it helps to picture the anatomy of the hepatic veins so that you can picture in your mind's eye this dynamic process where the hepatic veins which normally converge on the IVC and the flow readily goes to the right atrium if that's impaired you get a backup of pressure